Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about two new species recently discovered from Sri Lanka. First, let's talk about the new snake. It was discovered by a group of researchers on 21st of May. They are Mr. Sunet Kanishka, Mr. Dinet Danushka, Mr. Tasunam Rasingha, and Mr. Sampat Seniviratna. While examining the population of Dendrolaphis bifrenalis, the bush bronze back in the wet zone and the dry zone of Sri Lanka, they were able to find some morphological differences between the population which are distinct enough to identify as two different species. That's what led them to name the population in the wet zone name as a new species. The new species named as Dendrolaphis vicrorum. The new species has a shorter snout, prominent apical pits, and the temporal stripe is stopping just beyond the neck. Also, the absence of black vertical dorsolateral bars on the anterior one-fourth of the body is another difference. The new species is restricted to the wet zone of the island, but Dendrolaphis bifrenalis can be found in both dry zone and some dry areas in the lowland wet zones. Both Dendrolaphis bifrenalis and Dendrolaphis vicrorum are endemic to Sri Lanka. Currently, there are seven Dendrolaphis species in Sri Lanka and except one species, all other species are endemic. Dendrolaphis bifrenalis and Dendrolaphis vicrorum are considered as the smallest species in the country. Both Dendrolaphis bifrenalis and Dendrolaphis vicrorum can be easily distinguished from rest of the members of the Dendrolaphis genus by having a red-colored tongue and two loreal scales on the lateral head. All the Dendrolaphis species are arboreal. They prey on frogs, small reptiles and even on small birds. Their long slender body and prehensile tail is adapted climbing trees. And the tail is long and its length is one third of the body. They have larger eyes compared to most of the other snakes. These diurnal snakes sleep on high branches at night. Adults can reach 1 meter in body length. They are oviparous, means laying eggs. The females lay about 5 eggs at a time, mostly in tree holes. Dendrolaphis vicrorum is named after Mr. Mendis Vikramasinghe and his wife Mrs. Nethu Vikramasinghe, herpetologists in appreciation of their great work in herpetology field. Along with the new species discovery, the same group of researchers invalidated the name Dendrolaphis singharagensis, another snake distributed in the lowland wet zone, because that species was already described by another researcher, Werner, in 1999. He described it with a specimen collected from Colombo and named it as Dendrolaphis ephrenis. The original description was written in German but in Wall translated to English and saying that the species could be an aberrant specimen of Dendrolaphis cordialinoletus. In 1943, 
Smith synonymized Werner species with Dendrolophus caudolineolatus. Due to the similarity between Dendrolophus singharagensis and Dendrolophus ephrenis, according to the International Code of Zoological Nomenclature, the name given first gets the priority, which is Werner's. Dendrolophus ephrenis is the largest member of the genus and it lives in the canopy and subcanopy of lowland rainforests. Now let's talk about the new fish species. First, we must mention the gentleman who described it, Mr. Hiranyasudha Singha and Mr. Madhava Migaskumbura. The species belong to the genus Devario and it is named as Devario memoralis. It was discovered from a remnant rainforest habitat in Aranaika, Maya Basin. It can be identified from other Devario species in Sri Lanka by having only 9 to 12 branched dorsal fin rays. There are five Devario species in Sri Lanka and four of them are endemic. Devario malabaricus, which is not endemic, is a widespread species in Sri Lanka. Losing habitats is the main threat for these species. We hope you learnt a lot from this video. So goodbye for now and see you soon from another video.